time for the star of the film, Sleep Walk With Me, it's Mike Birbiglia. That was really nice of Tom to get my last name right. It's, it's Birbiglia. Most people get it wrong. When telemarketers call, they'll be like, good afternoon, may I speak with mister? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Gerbigaboo? And I'm like, Mr. Gerbigaboo doesn't live here anymore. I wish I could use my, my last name to my advantage. Like, I, I, like rappers, you know, like rappers use their names. Like Buster Rhymes, he'll have a good rhyme. He'll just, he'll just say his name afterwards. He'll be like, cat in the hat and that was that. Buster Rhymes, you know. I, I wish I could do that with jokes, you know. Like, I was on the train and the guy next to me was crying over a book and I leaned over and I go, you don't know how to read either, huh? <laughs> Mike Birbiglia. <laughs> I love being a comedian. Like, I, I think the reason I am one is that I just have this habit of making awkward situations even more awkward, you know? Like, I, I was moving a new bed into my apartment recently, and this woman in, who lives in my building opened the front door for me with her key, and she said, I'm not worried because a rapist wouldn't have a bed like that. <laughs> That's how she started the conversation. Now, what I should have said was nothing. <laughs> what I did say was you'd be surprised. And there's, there's nothing you can say after that. You're just like, see you around the building, you know, that kind of thing. Is there's, just something wrong with me. I just say the wrong things. And I, I actually have a film right now that's coming out in, all across Australia, and it's called Sleepwalk With Me. And uh, it's based on a real sleep disorder I have. I walk in my sleep. And a few years ago, it got very dangerous. And so I, got, I bought this book called The Promise of Sleep. And there's, there's four basic tips for healthier sleep. A few hours before, it says turn off the news and the internet and your phone and don't eat big meals, which just so happened to be my four favorite activities before bed. And I, I'm completely addicted to surfing the internet, which is crazy because the internet is just an infinite well of nothing. And when you're there, you're convinced it's something. It's like getting drunk. You're just like, I want to go over here, and then over there, and then over here. And after four hours, you're like, I have no idea what you're just happened. <laughs> I gotta clear my history. <laughs> I always have these grand ambitions for the next time I'm gonna be online. Like the next time I'm on the internet, I'm gonna look up healthy recipes and gyms in my neighborhood. And then I go online and I'm like, I wanna Google myself again, you know, and I. <laughs> And I'm reading this book, The Promise of Sleep, and, and there are 78 known sleep disorders, things that range from sleep apnea to night terrors to narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is terrifying because there are people who fall asleep at any time for any reason. There are female narcoleptics who fall asleep the moment they reach orgasm. I was thinking you could call these women men. <laughs> Mike <Microbiglia. laughs> Thanks very much. Really nice to see you guys. Give it up for Mike Babiglia.